The Heim Planet Transit Line Sling Pocket is a one liter sling that is perfect for carrying everyday items, as well as using it on the road and for in-flight essentials. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, where we use our expertise and real world experience to provide practical resources and honest opinions, guiding you towards smarter travel. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the Heim Planet Transit Sling, a sling that we have been testing quite heavily for the last nine months. Let's check it out. As a note, we got our hands on this sling about nine months ago when Heim Planet was originally launching their Kickstarter. And since then, we have been putting it through the ringer with a lot of testing. It's not quite available yet on their website. However, they have a target date of April 2019 or next month from the date that this review has been published. At the time of this review, the sling comes in one color. It is a Castle Rock gray, which is kind of this blend of fabrics that's a little bit of a lighter gray and a darker gray, and they come together to create a really interesting color and pattern. Heim Planet will likely offer this in black as well. However, there aren't any official listings on their website as of yet. It's a shame because this colorway would have been perfect with our digital Nomad packing list that we released a couple of weeks ago, and that's all black, all monochromatic. It definitely has a certain curated look going on, so a black version would have been perfect for that. From a branding perspective, there is a large sticker going on up here. And overall, the Heim Planet logo is sleek and minimal, but we feel like this sticker type of thing sort of cheapens the look a little bit. It looks like this kind of transparent adhesive that was just added on there, even though it's been, I think, some type of thermally added and kind of stamped on. It sort of just looks like a piece of tape running across. So although the Heim Planet logo is good, the application of it feels a little bit much, especially on a sling surface area of this size just definitely feels a little bit weird and kind of cheapens the look a little bit. Of course, looks are always in the eyes of the beholder. That's why we pulled our Instagram audience over at Pack Hacker, and here are the results. The main fabric of this pack is an 800D nylon and a 660D polypropylene dico shell dope dyed fabric. And those two different fabrics come together to create this kind of coloration that you see going on across the pack and dope dye means that they actually are able to use less dye. So it's a more sustainable way to color fabric. So they end up using less dye and there is less waste in the process. Overall, these two fabrics have come together to create an interesting feel. That polypropylene really adds a tiny bit of rubberiness to the feel, but not too much to where it feels cheap because you also have the nylon going on in there as well. On the back of the sling, we have a slightly padded back panel going on with this funky pattern we've seen in a couple other of Heim Planet's products as well. The lining inside of the sling is polyester and it contains hints of that same funky pattern that we've seen on the back panel. It's a nice subtle branding element from Heim Planet and we think it ties everything together quite nicely. To wrap up the materials, we have reverse coil, weather resistant YKK zippers on the outside of the sling, as well as for the small pocket on the side. These reverse coil zippers help with weather resistance and they also look a little bit cleaner since there's a layer of fabric above the zipper teeth. There is some lightweight aluminum hardware that's used for adjusting the sling strap as well as attaching the strap to the sling itself. Plus, we've got a nice layer of EVA foam on the back panel, adding a little bit of padding and making it more of a comfortable carry. Overall, this is a solid materials list that has held up quite well after nine months of very heavy testing. The sling is worn crossbody style, either on the front or the back of the wearer. Overall, it's a nice, comfortable fit, but on a couple of different occasions, we've noticed that sling strap sort of creeping up a little bit closer to the neck with prolonged usage, especially if there is heavy gear inside of the sling. Some slings account for this by swapping the anchor points on each side and sort of positioning them a little bit differently. However, since this is so small, we think that Heim Planet has opted not to do that. And it is really just a minor nitpick that we've noticed after all this usage. It is by no means a showstopper, definitely a nitpick, but that's what we're here for. Plus that strap is easily adjustable via the aluminum hardware. So it's easy to get the right fit based on your body type. On the exterior, there are two small lash tabs on the side opposite of the logo. This is handy to attach a carabiner to, and you never know when those are gonna come in handy. In this case, we have the Night Eyes number three S beaner on the outside, and we've used this on the plane to kind of hang this sling in a place that's accessible over the course of the flight, as well as just use it to kind of hang the sling up in areas on chairs and just fasten it to things as we're moving around. 
Moving on to the inside of the sling, let's kick it off with the small pocket on the exterior going on here. Although you can fit a plus size iPhone inside, it's quite snug and makes the shape of the sling a little bit awkward. Smaller phones will do just fine, or else sunglasses if you'd like to hold those in there as well. This is especially good since the liner on the inside is a lot softer than the liner on the interior of the main compartment of the sling. We've just slipped in the Rove Franklin sunglasses and these things fold up super small, plus they're in another case and they still fit in quite nicely. Any sunglasses will do in here though. Onto the main capacity area, it opens up horseshoe style, allowing you to have some really good access to the main interior of the compartment. We have two stretchy mesh-like pockets in the front corners of the sling. We've been putting earbuds on one side as well as the OrbiKey key organizer on the other, and this kind of keeps things really organized nicely in the corners of the sling. In the main leader capacity towards the bottom, there's a small tag indicating that the Heim Planet Transit Line sling has been crafted in Vietnam. Towards the back of the sling, there are two stretchy mesh divider pockets as well. One fits the Anchor PowerCore 2 10,000, as well as a smaller micro USB cable for charging devices when you're out and about. We found the other side to work quite well for a wallet, and in our case, we've been testing it with the Tom Bin Nix Minimalist Wallet. Lastly, there's a zippered pocket towards the back for storing flatter items. This is ideal to store passports, and we've got ours inside of the Bellroy Passport Sleeve. You could put smaller notebooks in here as well, like field notes, maybe a pen for taking notes, although that passport sleeve does have a little tiny pen that goes along with it. After we removed the stock paracord zipper pull on this main compartment, we opted to include the Prometheus Lights Kappa quick release keychain that holds some earplugs from Matador, as well as the Gerber Shard, a really small and useful multi-tool to have on the road. It's nice to have all of these items in the sling with easy access to all of them. And that's really the benefit of this Heim Planet Transit Line sling is that the organization is well thought through. It's not too crazy. You don't have a bunch of zippers and pockets going on, but it's just enough to compartmentalize and separate all of your individual items. Definitely a joy to use. At the time of this review, this sling has been used for nine months and it's seen some very heavy use from Detroit to New York, to Minneapolis, to Porto, to Budapest and Amsterdam. Other than the frayed edges near the small zipper, as well as two little small frayed areas near the last straps, this has been holding up really well. And we can kind of chalk that up to ordinary wear and tear. It'd be quite easy to get rid of those with a lighter. Sometimes the sling can feel a little bit imbalanced when you're wearing it. However, that's usually mitigated by either adjusting the shoulder strap or moving the sling from the front to back or the back to front on the wearer. Other than that, this has been a solid companion for about nine months of use, and we don't see that stopping anytime soon, although we may be testing a couple more slings and we may have more reviews in the works. So let us know in the comments if you are interested in more sling reviews. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, there is some really thoughtful and organized layouts and pockets going on on the inside of this sling. Durable materials have been used throughout, and it's held up super well with nine months of testing. It is a great size for everyday or travel items. Some slings can get a bit too large, but for this use case, the size is just right. Onto some of the cons, sometimes the carry can be imbalanced. We have seen some slight fraying on the edges of the fabric, but it's ordinary wear and tear. Lastly, we think the sticker logo cheapens the overall look and the design of this sling. The Heim Planet Transit Line Sling Pocket offers a ton of organization in such a small package. The size is just right for gear you'd carry around every day or during a flight. We've seen some ordinary wear and tear on the fabric and sometimes the carry can feel slightly imbalanced, but apart from that, the organized layout, small form factor, and durable materials make this sling a joy to use day in and day out. So there you have it, our review on the Heim Planet Transit Line Sling Pocket. Make sure to leave a comment below and let us know what you think of this thing. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.